Hello, hello there. Whoa, okay. <laughs> hello, gameplay screen. <laughs> What's happening here? Um, I think I just need to deactivate and reactivate it. There we go. Happens sometimes. Anyways, hi there. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> um, we're, uh, we're working towards the millstone over here. Um, basically, last time I thought we were going to be able to go right for the, um, a flame grilled whopper. But if we look at this, we need this charcoal dust. And in order to get that, you can only use a millstone or the crusher, which is like from a later age. So we have to get a millstone. And in order to get a millstone, we have to go through like this entire tree right here. Um, we're, we're out to like saddle basically. I'm just sort of playing some catch up to get there. Uh, but it's going to be getting like the wheel and then the uh, gear and the millstone so that we can make the flame grilled whopper. And so uh, I have some leather that I'm working on. Uh, we got the dried hide and then we need to make the wet tanned hide and then we dry it again and that gets us leather it's great i love early game like i've seen a lot of really great things about this mod pack people really like this mod pack and i've liked watching other people play the mod pack but something about this mod pack's early game is rough <laughs> like yeah i'm hoping that like mid game is a lot better but the early game is pretty rough in my opinion i kind of want like an expert mod pack Th this isn't an expert mod pack or maybe it is but it's like kind of weans you into it i kind of wish there was a hey here you, you can get through the early game here's the mid game just present that right away and then, okay, here's the challenging part of the late game. Because to me, the early game is the least interesting part of um, any sort of mod pack. It's, it's like the mid to late game that's super interesting. I'll leave that there for now. Um... So we're needing 21 of this ground resin, which I think we have in one of these here. Two, three. There we go. Perfect. And then that's done. Cool. And so we take this path over to the river. And I have to be careful because I think there's... Okay, right now there aren't any sharks, but there have been sharks over here. Oh, that's not good. That's not river biome, apparently. Um, my inventory's full. I'm gonna take that and take this one. I'm gonna do that. So, water is only infinite in river and ocean biomes. Oh, hi there, Hammerhead. Uh, okay, so... Okay, we do have an open spot, so we're good to go. 
So it's this, this, this. And we do that, right? Okay, cool. So early game crafting. Hey, you get to do one craft at a time. Enjoy it. <laughs> So, there's like the tutorial age, which is like somewhere over here, and then it becomes like stage zero eventually. And I don't know what the difference is. Like, <laughs> if, if you look at some of these, it's like stage zero and then stage tutorial is what gives you access to certain things. Uh, yesterday I, uh, uploaded a video with, uh, my new Minecraft skin. And I'll, uh, actually take off my armor here in just a second to show that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this new Minecraft skin. Um, it, uh, reflects the, uh, like on my Twitter account, I have like a ref sheet for, uh, the character, my character design, and, uh, that's also what, like, I'm getting the VTuber model commissioned off of and all that, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. That, that, that. No! No! Okay, to fix this, I think I have to do this, like that. Oh, I hate... Oh. Water stuff is awful to work with, and the fact that the water isn't infinite makes it, like, so much worse. <laughs> Ugh. Here, deep underwater. So this is a 1.12 mod pack, which like really changes up how things behave. Okay, and then here. So there it is. There I am. Oh, I, you can tell that I don't, uh, I don't go into F5 that often. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the skin. I should get more practice with that, to be honest. <laughs> and we'll equip this. <clears throat> okay, so this wet tanned hide. We just need to get it hanging up over here. And then the things that we need to make with this... Uh, we need leather cordage. Okay. Hmm. I think we have a sleeping mat. Yeah. Yeah. Set spawn point. There we go. I'm like, how do I set the spawn point? 
Uh, and I'll go ahead and set the spawn point like there. Or maybe it didn't set the spawn point. But that's fine. Um, in this building, right. Inventory management. It's rough. <laughs> uh, I didn't tweet that I was going live, I don't think. Yeah, I'll swap this out and then... Or maybe I won't. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm live with some more SevTech ages. Uh, we are working towards the... Oh, we have the leather. Let's get the leather. There we go. Okay. Um, we are working towards the millstone. Is that what it's called? The millstone? Yes, the millstone from Better With Mods. Um, come hang out as we work towards the second age, towards the metal age. Yeah. Towards the metal age. That's what I'll do. We copy this video ID. We open it up. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> I want to do this and this and then I don't know what the flint is going to be super helpful with. Hopefully I can just combine it there. I can. Cool. And then I should do one, two, three. I don't know why this looks kind of damaged. Put that there. Oh, this is one leather strap and then I need Okay, I just need one. Oh, it's close to breaking, that's why. There and there. Oh, I forgot how loud that sound effect was. Oh. Oh, I hate that. Okay, let's put that there and we pick up the lead. Um, I'm going to put the lead there. I'll pick this up. I want to sleep with this bed right here. And I'm in the wall. Cool. <laughs> cool. And that set my spawn. Here, I'll just right click here just to make sure. I can only sleep at night. There we go. Okay, and then I wonder what, oh, you know what? That's, that's the issue. Okay, I need to post this. Um, just remembered what the issue is. Uh, we can't have the Horse leads go across chunk boundaries. We can't have leads. Or else they might disappear sometimes. Uh, this one is. The chopping block is. Let's check 
this one over here but i suspect <laughs> yeah they're both <laughs> both are built like right at a junk boundary um it appears both the chopping block and the grind stone happened to be built along chunk boundaries yeah so we'll yeah and then this one's probably fine or maybe not in any case Um, I think what we should do How much space is there two um Let's just do We're giving three wide path okay in that case you want to move it over one two three right so if it's here then it would be one two three yeah so let's actually move it here Just go ahead and plant this oxide daisy over here. Yes, okay. That's still plenty enough. Then we toss that. Uh, I don't think. You know what? I'm I'm going to get um, an axe. I, I I don't want to accidentally lose that. <laughs> Tomahawk. No. Uh, hatchet. Yes, this will do fine. um actually yeah i'll i'll place that there and let's switch out the tan tide there we go Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there is a lead here. Okay. lead to reveal area needed please what's the key that's needed for carry on carry is left shift um there we go 
And then this goes here. That goes here. Ow. No ow. Didn't take fall damage, apparently. Okay. This one's set up fine now, I think. Okay. What's the space needed? This one's not complaining, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I say this one gets pushed back into this chunk. So we're doing three wide. So let's do here. Oh, come on. The, these flowers are annoying because it like you can't just pave the path or whatever broken um can I repair it like this? Hey, look at that. I like that. Okay, and then... Uh... I'm going to make it look like this is a tree that can be crooked. Hmm. Really now. Let's do that. Okay. And then... Okay, you can carry on that. Uh, we'll put that there for now. I wonder if that's the Whopper Mark II or... Oh, I forgot you could, like, hang on to walls. It's such a, like, strange mechanic. Cool, but also strange. <laughs> yeah, you can just scale walls. <laughs> I forgot about that mechanic in this mod pack. Uh, the bed was over here. Okay. Um, here. There we go. 
get that advancement. Um, pressing your luck here. I'll grab the press. Um, yeah. Wherever that's left at, here. Uh, let's grab the hatchet again. Unless I just lost the hatchet. Nope, I just tossed it onto the ground and that was it. Uh, nature's compass we don't really need anymore. So why am I holding on to it? <laughs> um, let's see. Place that there. <laughs> right, so we do this. We do this. So it's in my inventory. And then we place it again. To a larger block using horsepower press. Okay. Charcoal. Low grade charcoal. Okay. And then charcoal. Okay. Okay. So basically, uh, if I understand this correctly, uh, bum, bum, bum. need to find some logs first off. We have some signs. I should probably go through and label these at some point. I don't think we need any more bark right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go to the cooking area here. Then I think it's that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, there's that. I need a lead. And there's a horse over this way somewhere. There, they, there you are. There we go. So we needed that. Uh, craft the wheel from a, a stukor to use on horse carts. Use the stukor action key to attach horses to carts. Okay. Okay, that's um. That's a pretty simple crafting recipe. <laughs> um, Skin dark, does this mean horologium? But we can't see the effect properly because we don't know about astral source. Yeah, that, that's probably my best guess. <clears> 
Okay, so this gets that. Huzzah! And then I'll do this, right? Well, that's not what I meant to do. I wonder if I can burn up these all vlogs or if there's some like something special I can do. Nope, doesn't look like it at least. Okay. And then that there. I need all of this plus one of the charcoal from here. There we go. Slowly filters through. Does this get used to make a gear? Buffalo tooth. Okay. That's why we're getting into totemic. There we go. Because we need buffalo for wood gears. That makes sense. So much sense, you know? <clears throat> yeah, so I need to grab the totemic book. So, Totemic, cool in programming and, like, mechanics and stuff, but, like, there's, uh, like, cultural appropriation with it. That's not so cool. And so, as soon as we can move past it, we're going to. Um, let's see. Buffaloes. <clears throat> They're incredibly sturdy. But they can be created with buffalo dance ceremony. Um, I need to see. Um, also, do we have any buffalo? If not, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. No. Sad thumbs up. Okay, so we need to go look at this and see. Um, ceremonies. Buffalo dance, there it is. Uh, this beast used to roam the lands in large herds, but was mysteriously wiped out long before you came into the world. However, not all hope is lost. The buffalo dance ceremony is able to give strength to nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes. They will start out as infants and only gain their full strength after a while. Okay, so drum, wind chime. Mm 
Unfortunately, the only way to progress the pack is by getting the buffalo teeth. Whoa. I'm not sure which totem is giving high jump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we have a pit of animals somewhere. <laughs> um... I'm still a little rough around the edges for where everything's at. Okay, here it is. Um. Hmm. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Like, I I get, like, yes, animal freedom and stuff, but, like, for the purpose of the mod pack, we're in the early days right now. Um, let's see. Let's go to the chopping block and... Do I have any wood on me? I don't. So I guess the chopping block is here. Yes, okay. Okay, don't have any. Um, I'll chop down some more oak trees. What? Oh, right. The tree is just so dark that it looks like some sort of error happened. But if you look closely, it's like, no, I guess there's like gray and then like just, or sorry, black and like just not black. <laughs> like it's so hard to see. Uh, let's go ahead and do this just in case and then we'll get the planks from over here That's the press So these Okay, and then I think I just need to make a new lead.
then one, two, three. With a wee bit of string. Um, ink sacks. Let's put the ink sacks away. There we go. And then one, two, three. So we do that, we do that, and that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> like with this being a communal area and like it's not an expert pack but it's like a near expert pack it's just a wee bit annoying you know okay so we'll push you over there Okay. My inventory is full, so I haven't been picking up any of the dirt that I've been mining out, apparently. Good going, me. need to mine out a bit more dirt <clears throat> what is this this is a nice uh, starter area looks really nice don't know who made it, but yeah, looks good. Uh, I won't dig over here so that I don't like interrupt their base area. I'll go like over this way. I want to get like a full stack or something. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. Let's say right around here. Uh, I won't destroy that, just in case. I don't have a bet on me. Whoops. I uh, won't destroy that. And then... Dandelions. Some of these will just stay as rocks, but some of them, when we move into the next stage, will become ore deposits, and then that's how we can find uh, more materials. Or find materials easier, anyways. Sixty one, two, three, and four. There we go. Let's head back to base. Hi, zombie. Hi, creeper. Hi, spider. Hi, another creeper. Oh. My mouse slowly drifting is just how low friction it is. Okay. So we have dirt here. This is so that we can do stuff over here. We don't need this. Okay. So, let's see. Um, so, I think we do bison, cows, pigs, yeah. I, I like this sign editing mod. So this is pigs, cows,
Bison. And then here will be um let's see. Two of the sheep are there. We'll do chicken sheep. Come on. So pig. Nope. Shit. <laughs> pig. I thought I was going to need leads for this, but nope. Maybe make hmm. We might be able to make a really primitive chicken farm Like automated chicken farm I should say goes down here chicken chicken please That's completely emptied out. Let's get a handful of the other sheep. Wall climbing thing is really nice, to be honest. Come, come on, cow. Okay, so we need to breed up some cows so that we can then perform a ritual to get bison, and then we need to breed up bison because we need a lot of buffalo teeth. LGBT cafe base head. I need to turn this fan on. There we go. Okay. We have cow. So there's four cows there. I'm gonna take one of these actually and set you over there. And then I think we actually want to temporarily do this. Uh, because for the, uh, I need to check the totemic ritual, but I think we need to I know it's a drum, and then is it a rattle? 
chimes. Okay. And I forget if we need to have a totem nearby. I guess I should look at the basic of basics of rituals. Um Totem base. Okay. Um so I need the chisel. Yes. Which is this here. Oh. Oh, you shift and you can see the amounts. Okay. Um, they didn't bother to do... <laughs> okay, so... To talk about what the numbers here are doing. Um, when doing computer graphics stuff... There's order dependent rendering or an order independent rendering so like ui stuff you typically want to do order independent but then for stuff like this where it's like oh this is hovering over the top of this item you typically want for it to be order dependent which means a wall should block the number but in this case you just shift and you can see ah yes i have 64 of something <laughs> so yeah totem base there we go uh and then i think we need to get a log let me confirm this we do this and then that yeah okay Well, we lost that. That's fine. Okay. So there's that base. Um, and then we need the wind chimes. Hmm. Right, I need to wear some other stuff in order to make that better. Um, so we're gonna grab the rattle. And... Hmm. Yeah, I should clear out my inventory a little bit. Or maybe I just eat this, and that should be enough, right? Yeah, this should be enough. Such an advanced ritual. <laughs> okay. So... We break this down. And we break that down. Like this. Cool. Uh, we sleep through the night. Uh, that's not the right spot. It's over here. 
I keep getting turned around in this village. Mm, right, over here. Convert these cows to the buffalo. Just mash and it's fine, you know? <laughs> Jingle dress, flute. Um, uh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna see if we have a flute or the um, jingle dress around. We do have the flute. Uh, and let me put the book away because I don't need that and I'll free up an inventory slot. Um... Did I, I must have gotten a book for getting the required ingredients. That's the only thing I can think of. This, okay. This isn't as good as I remember. <sighs> wow. <sighs> this mechanic sucks. <laughs> Um, hmm. I guess I'll check for this jingles, which is bones and sugar cane. Uh, I have three bones. Let me see if we have more bones. And then also I need to check on sugar cane, which I think we have out here by the river. I'm not positive on that, but I'm pretty sure. Mm, nope. Well. Uh, I'm going to take the boat. And go looking for sugar cane. Because we really just need sugarcane to progress here. Or how I'm viewing it, at least. We need sugarcane to progress. <clears throat> That's a Shogoth layer. That's pretty close to our base. Uh, 
Hi, shark. I'm really not interested in uh, messing around right, right now, so... Yeah. Hi, shark. There are two sharks on me. How fun. <clears throat> Sugar cane. Hello there. I don't think the shark's on me anymore. I'm not positive on that, but... They they were on me. You're at zero. Just die. <laughs> Ugh. Um. I'm not super worried about sticks. Um. Hmm. One wheat I'm not super worried about either. What's that? Shark skin? Okay, that's just raw hide. Uh, I think the animal fat's more useful. Okay, let's go ahead and plant all of this back home. We won't have sugar cane for a little bit here, but uh, perhaps that will... Uh, perhaps we can give another go at the buffalo thing because we had enough and then we didn't when we tried again later. So I don't know what that's about. Oh, yeah. That looks way worse than the previous versions of Minecraft. Like, die right now doesn't look that bad, but here in 1.12, yeah, it's kind of shit. I do miss the old gravel, though. Nope, this is not the right spot because that's a Shogoth thing. That's another Shogoth thing. Okay, there, there's no shortage, uh, no shortage of Shogoths. So, um, excuse me. How dare? Ah, there's another one. Uh, toss that for a second. Toss that for a second. Place. Grab this. Get on boat. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a Shogoth. Hi, Shogoth. Goodbye, Shogoth. <laughs> The Shogoths have pretty uh, interesting models. Okay. Um. Let's do like this area here. And then something like this.
Uh, hi there, zombie. This is 1.12, so it's after the combat update. Come on. <laughs> There's... <sighs> the sword's broken, that's why. That's why. I was like, why is this taking so long? It's broken. So one, two, three. There we go. Uh, we should check, check, what? <laughs> check the light level. Yeah, it's dark in here. But why though? Lit torch. What? What? Oh wow. I forgot how bad these torches are. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do, like, oh, wow. That. 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 And that's still not enough. Um, okay, so that is good for that. That is not good enough for that. I guess we could do every other and that's going to be good enough. Like pretty okay. And then do something like that. Yeah. Uh, what are these? Uh, totem torch. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we should, we should make those. It's pretty simple. We take this, not to the press, not to that one, so it's over here. Um, and let's get all this, uh, shark meat here cooking up. Shork. Okay, it's 16 at a time, so I'll place that there then. <clears throat> Boom, 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 Sticks. Oh, I need to go to the crafting table. Um, let's go ahead and just grab several of these then. There we go. We'll get four of these set up.
I'm gonna get multiple of these crafted together. And there we go. Nope, go there. So these lit torches are better than nothing. However, just barely. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And that. And then I'll place one like there. That and that. Just just for symmetry. Um, for here, we'll just place one like there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll place this one here. These need to go pretty close to the ground, unfortunately. So I'll place, yeah, like even that there only gets these two spots. <laughs> Oh, these torches are horrendous. So I'll place it there then. And similarly, I'll place that there. Uh, I hope in age one we get access to just a normal crafting table because the like the gimmick of this kind of wears off quick. In my opinion, anyways. <clears throat> oh, I almost trampled that. Um, let's see. Uh, I was waiting for these reeds to grow that is a deep pit Is it food and nutrition? Yeah, I'm pretty heavy on protein right now. Okay, let's try this ritual again. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I, I'm... <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah. That's rough. Okay, let's get this. Nope. Let's get this meat here. Nope. Let's get this meat here and get cooking up.
it wasn't horrendous to move them due to the carry on mod. Shift right click the animal to carry them. Okay, so we'll grab that and we'll grab this. I said we'll grab this. Maybe we won't, but I want to grab that. There we go. <laughs> kind of need to keep this area loaded in order to get the, um... You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Um... First of all, I'm going to look. Do we have Snad? If Snad's in the pack, uh, it is not available to us right now. So, uh, what I'm going to do, we just need to have the area loaded up, right? To have the sugar cane grow. So, I'm going to sit over here, buy it. Oh, there's another Shogoth layer there. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do this and let's see, I have, uh, sugar cane growing. Okay. <laughs> and while we have this loading up, uh, let's play another mine game. Mine sweeper. <laughs> sweeper? No. Okay, so let's just do mine sweeper online. There we go. <laughs> So, this is Minesweeper. <laughs> Definitely the same as Minecraft, right? We're, we're sweeping the mines. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I like Minesweeper. Except for when you lose right away like that. Uh, yeah, so... Looks like Psy Genie played a lot of expert <laughs> today apparently um to me minesweeper is just like a fun chill game of like thinking things through and see there i wasn't thinking things through <clears throat> so one there two there this could be either one of these two one there, bomb. Oh, it could have been that one too. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four, five. And that one's safe. And so one there. That's the three for that. One for that. Two. One, two, three, four. So this one's safe. One, two, three. So that, that, and that is safe. And then we have two, so this is safe. And one there, and one there. One, two, three. So this is one, this is one. So it's one of these two, but not both of them. One for that. So this, this, this is safe. This is touching that, so these three are safe. That's touching, so this is safe. Two, so it has to be this. And then this is touching two, this is touching two, so this one's safe and that one's safe. Five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So all five of these. Uh, this is touching two. 
Um, two here, so that's safe. And that's safe. One for that. And so one, this is safe. One, that's safe. This one has to be, and so that's safe, and that's safe. And this needs to be three, so there. Two, these two are safe. That's safe, and that's safe. That's safe, and that's safe. Um, let's see, this is touching two, so that's safe. This is touching two, so that and that are safe. This only has access to three, so those. That's touching two, so that's safe. This is touching one, so that is all safe. This is touching one, so that's safe. And that's safe. Two. In order for this to be two, it needs to be these two. And in order for this to not be three, this one has to be safe. This is already touching two, so that's safe. Hmm. That's not safe. That is safe. 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 This can only be that. Ooh, this area is a bit rough. One of these two is dangerous. And one of these two is dangerous. And it's either this is dangerous and this is dangerous, or this is dangerous and this is dangerous. But I don't know which. <laughs> I think it's just going to kind of be a guess. Let's try and figure out other stuff. I, I have a general idea there. Um, that. Flip a coin. True. Flip a coin. Okay. Heads, I do top left and bottom right. And tails, I do top right and bottom left. Okay. Yep. Heads, then. <laughs> Top left and bottom right. Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, two. So that, that's safe. Yes, it worked out. <laughs> um, so one, that's all safe. Ooh, nice. This is safe. That is safe. This is not safe. That's touching two. This is there because that needs to touch three. One, two, three, four, five. And... One, two, three. Okay, hold on. This has four available only. And now this is touching four, so that's safe. <laughs> uh, let's check in on the sugar cane. Um, I'm looking up now. Hey, some sugar cane. Cool. Let's get some more planted up. Uh, what was that that I just got? Genzing root. Okay. Uh, 
And now we are back <laughs> to Minesweeper. <laughs> I used to play, like, I remember sitting at, like, the Windows 7 or Windows XP machine uh, at my parents' house and playing a lot of Minesweeper. Um, just because, I don't know, I, I, I was, like, the nerdy kid who liked doing puzzle stuff, and, and so this was good fun to me. Uh, this is touching, too, so that and that is safe. That, that, that. And that is safe. This is three, so that and that, which means that's safe. That's safe. One, two, three is safe. That's safe. This is touching two here. So all of those are safe. Um, this has to be that, and now this is touching too, so that's safe. This can only touch that. This is touching... No! Oh. It was touching too there! No! Okay, I misread that. Oh. I was doing so well, though. So I left that one up there. Yeah, I misread that. Better than you can do? <laughs> Fair. It's... I, I, I really like reasoning through Minesweeper. Um, at, at one point on my phone, I had... Uh, like... I think the only games I typically get on my phone are like, you know, Minesweeper, Sudoku. I I sound so boomer with that, but it's like, I, I want to be playing, you know, a computer game. Or I sit down and I play like, something like this on my phone. Um, Let's see, we're looking down, we're looking up. Come here. Ah, shark. <laughs> oh, my inventory's full. Right. I'm thinking one more game of Minesweeper, then we'll continue with uh, the actual gameplay. Uh, one click in the middle. Okay. <laughs> um, that, that, which means... So, so here, here's my logic for playing through this. Uh, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it a lot. Um, so basically to talk through the logic here, I work, this isn't the only way to play through Minesweeper, but how I play through Minesweeper is I start from the corner. So here's, here's this one. And it only has a single square available to it. So I go ahead and flag that as being a mine. Um, and then from there, it's like, okay, since this one got flagged, that means this touching one can only access this. And so that means that any of the spots around it, other than this one, is safe. So I can go and flag that. And the same with this. Any of the spots around it are safe. So I can go and do that. Uh, now this is two and only has access to two. So we do that. This is two, and it already has two flagged, so we can do that. So that, that's the general thought process that I go through for Minesweeper. Um, so this has one, and we do one, two, three. This has one already, and so we do one, two, three. That's how you play two? Yeah. 
It's, um... It's... It's how I was taught, and I don't know if, like, there's other strategies to it, but that, that just seems like a, a, a rational way to, like, work your way through it, you know? Uh, so there's that and that. So one, two. Two, so here and has to be there. That's five. Is there any other way to play? Um, maybe, maybe not. I, I don't fully know, to be honest. Uh, let's jump down to this corner, actually. So here's this. These three are safe. And that's about all I got for there. Never mind. <laughs> click and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, so the only way to start is to randomly click around. So you see, uh, like, I started from the corners. Um, and two of them were somewhat helpful. Like, this one wasn't really helpful. This one was a pretty decent start. And I randomly, yeah, I randomly clicked into the middle, hoping. And I didn't get it, but whatever. One, two, three, four. So there's that. And then one, two, three. And then that has two, so one, two, three. Bum, 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 bum. And that has two. And then this is three. And that has two. And all of these have one. Okay, and then this. This here is one, two, three, and that gives three here and there. Oh, there's a lot of red here. <laughs> one, so there and there, and then this already has one. Nice, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this has two, so there. This has two, so there. One, two, three, four, so that's safe. And we could have also tell, ah, we would have also been able to tell from this being safe. I think those are the only three. Yeah, those are the only three available there. This one's like a super secure one. It's like, ah, yes, all ones. <laughs> Excellent. So one there. So that means that's safe. These flat edges are hard to work through. There's, there's probably some sort of strategy for that. And I don't fully know. Hmm. I hate that I have this jaw click issue. Oh yeah, it'll eventually work itself out. Thanks, multiple dentists. Crystal does not agree with you on that. Or my jaw does not agree with you on that. Crunchy, yes. It, it's, it's so strange, like... It's not an issue now, but like every like it, it's like a little gears get wound up and then like every once in a while it just goes pop and then everything's fine for a while. And it's like, could I not? Could, could, could I not have that for a little bit? Like <laughs> it sort of developed like midway through college and um, I Like, supposedly it was something like, oh, I need, like, a sleep guard. And I tried using a sleep guard for a bit. And then, like, it got worse when I was using the sleep guard. I don't know. Okay. So, three. This has one, two. Okay, this has to be that. And then this is touching two, so that. 
Ugh. Are we at another flip a coin spot here? Let's see. This has one, two, three, four, five. This has one, two, three, four. This has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's look at this square here, right? So this has one, two, three spots that could potentially be. But if it's any, if it's this top one, then it would have to be this one down here, right? But then it couldn't be because that, so this has to be it. No! Ugh. No! There, there's a flag there! No! Ugh. Ugh. I misread. I went too hasty. Wow. Absolutely no sugarcane grew during that game. <laughs> Your brain has melted. Oof. Uh, let's go ahead and grab nine sugar cane. There we go. Nine sugar cane. Uh, and let's turn that text back off. Okay. Brain melting. <laughs> So, the reason I was growing sugar cane is I'm wanting to make the rat, not rattle, um, the, the jingle. Yes, I'm trying to make jingles so that I can make the jingle dress. And I need that in order to do totemic stuff better. Okay, so we have bones. My inventory is such a mess. These are pretty mods? Yeah. I, I, I really like it. Um, This is a Minecraft 1.12 mod pack called Sebtech Ages. Uh, it's probably could be considered an expert mod pack, but it also like eases you into things pretty well. Um, in my personal opinion, it eases in a little bit too much because, you know, things are very slow at the start. But uh, it's it's a pretty cool mod pack. I've seen people play it up through like a couple ages. And um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how this mod pack works is you start out in like this tutorial age in which like you're you're like picking up a rock off the ground and you use that rock to beat a tree and like if you break the wood with your fist like it just destroys the wood you don't actually get it so you need to make like crude tools in order to be able to chop down trees and then work up from there and it's like a nice mixture of magic and tech and all those things it's pretty cool um Let's. What am I looking for? And you can see, like, you start out having not even like normal chests available. You have to start out with these chests, and then you get like these chests and stuff. So it's a little bit rough. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do. No. <laughs> so that. There we go. There we go. And then bone blocks I can put back there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what am I... I'm needing bones. That's what I'm needing. Uh, 
yeah so i i guess while i'm working on crafting this stuff uh i'll just talk a little bit about myself um since people are new here um i am a variety streamer as well as just general youtube uploader um i i stream three to four times a week as well as uh i'm trying to consistently publish like one additional video a week working towards getting uh two videos a week for that and we um yeah that one video a week i'm doing right now is for this game called dome keeper which i'm absolutely in love with right now uh super super fun it's so dome keeper is like you have this dome land down onto a planet and you go and uh mine out resources in order to upgrade the dome so that you can survive and either you do like uh do it to earn points or you do it to find like this relic within a certain amount of time so it's very cool i was confused by the uh uh the fire there for a second <laughs> But yeah, that's my quick little spiel about myself. So there's that. And then I forgot again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope. There we go. Okay. And then we get these three jingles. And I think it's string. It is string. Cool. Huzzah! Jingle dress. Um, I should check the totemic book, how the jingle dress works. Um... Uh, hold on. It has reached its melody threshold for that ceremony, and the user should stop using that specific instrument for the rest of the ceremony. There's a limited amount of time to complete ceremony. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Time to try this again. So that, that. So this top bar has to be completed before the bottom bar is completed. I wish I had a heart rate monitor going right now. <laughs> no! Cow, please! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I failed. So, what we're trying to do is there's a ritual to turn these cows into buffalo and then basically need to breed up the buffalo to get um well to, to slay them because we need the buffalo teeth so if we look at this achievement tree um technically yes i should be doing this but i'm working towards this wooden gear and the wooden gear um So this wooden gear here, gear here needs buffalo teeth in order to make. And the only way to get buffalo is by doing this ritual. 
Perhaps? I think I read something. Uh, totemic rituals. Uh, Minecraft. <clears throat> if only the cows could sing along. So true. <laughs> Uh, just, just their, their, their moves are melodic enough that it should aid in the music, you know? <laughs> um. I have the drum dress and the wind chimes, the flute and the shaker, but I can't seem to complete any level three ceremonies, including the serenade of Cyrenex, which is needed to level up the flute. Wait until wind chimes start chiming to start the ceremony, and I'm able to completely exhaust the drum and the shaker pretty easily while running around to see the dress, use the dress, and use the flute intermittently. But the ceremony ends before I can even, before I can completely fill it with the flute. Okay. Huh. Add more drums. Okay. Oh yeah, one thing that this mod pack adds is you can just climb up walls. <laughs> I don't know what mod does that and what the logic is, and I think it gets removed in like one of the later ages, but for now. Also, apparently the jingle dress works from moving, uh, from sprinting. Okay, I think we have more drums here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Arrow, hello there. How you doing? Okay, let's see. I'm sorry, Mushroom, you gotta go. Hello. Uh, I want to move this one. Might not be here for long. That's fair. It's late. Yeah, you're in Germany. And so that is based upon this. Yeah, it's at least 10 p.m. if not a little bit later. Um, are you plus one? Or equal with UTC slash GMT. <clears throat> way too late? For a lot of people, yes. That, that is way too late. Past midnight? Okay. So that would be plus two GMT then. Okay. Yeah, almost 12.30. Um, right. It's over this way. I'm not lost. You're lost. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mid-afternoon. Yeah, I'm in CST. Um, so the main reason I know a decent amount about, like, different time zones and stuff is, um... Global work stuff. Um, I for for work I do stuff with people in um, India and and so fun fact: the Bangalore time zone for India is a half hour time zone. So right now it is uh, five twenty five for Chicago time zone, and it is three fifty five a.m. <laughs> So, n not only are there one-hour time zones, there are half-hour time zones, and there's even a couple of 15-minute time zones. It's great. Time zones are great. <laughs> oh, just have a lot of online friends. That's fair, yeah. Uh, also, for, for my stream team, LGBT Cafe, which this um, server is hosted through, uh, they have... Uh, it, it's It's a global team, so, like... Uh, we have people in Oceania, we have people in uh, UK and Europe, we have people across the US, all that stuff. Did you know Crystal's a big nerd? That is true, I am big nerd. Um... <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Oh my goodness, having three drums? This is cheating. Look at this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Cows, please get out of the way. No. Drums, please. No. <sighs> also guilty of being a big nerd. Welcome to the Big Nerd Consortium. We will amass all the big nerds here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thanks for the shout, uh, Arrow. It means a lot. <laughs> also, I, I've, I've said this before, but the reason that sometimes I have a pause before saying your name is my brain is short-circuiting about whether to say Arrow or Ace, and I know you've said that either is fine, but my brain sits there and is like, oh, ugh, which do I say right now? Ugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. I need to check what level of ritual this is. Like, how, how difficult is this supposed to be? You know? Related to a bunch of nerds? Nice. Nice. Alex would also be an option. Okay. I will keep that in mind. If that helps. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Buffalo dance is only at level two. After you select a ceremony, you need to stop sneaking so that your music counts for the ceremony. Okay. If you see white smoke coming from the totem pole after playing an instrument, its melody threshold has reached and you should stop playing it. Okay, so if it's white, you stop playing that instrument altogether. Play at somewhat regular intervals. Time your ceremony around them. In two or three wind chimes. Your flute in the left hand and your rattle in the right hand. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, let's try with this tip. Um, it's over this way. No, it's over this way. I need a big neon sign up in the sky in order to be like, hey, it's over here. <laughs> that Sandy was a male name? Oh, hey, hey, hey. No. No, no, no. Ah. Uh. Well, we will sit here for a moment. Okay, so this is our cow pen and this is going to be the buffalo pen <laughs> eventually. Okay, so that and that here. Wow. That that was easy. <laughs> why why was I having issues before? <laughs> Ah. 
Okay. Well, now we have two buffaloes. <laughs> yeah. So these are little baby buffalo. We need to have them grow up and then breed them up, get a bunch of buffalo, uh, and then we slaughter them for their teeth. Minecraft's a wholesome game. <laughs> Used to watch a YouTuber called Sandy Ravage. Gotcha. When I think of Sandy, I think of Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> Very wholesome, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm I'm done with Totemic for now. <laughs> I, I don't want to play any more Totemic. Get me out of this. Um, shark skin will move over there. And the jingle dress will drop off there. Mine, Minecraft is a wholesome game with no issues whatsoever. From Guardians? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, hold on. I need I need to play a song. Um, j just a little bit of it because I'd, I'd be worried about like a potential copyright strike, but uh, it is great. <laughs> um... Let's see. YouTube. Mr. Sandman. Man via sand. There we go. Mr. Sandman. Man via sand. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of, and that's why I had to play it. Man me a sand. <laughs> oh. Friendly reminder to hydrate. Thank you for the re that reminder. Um, I don't have my water bottle in this room. I will take a quick break to go grab my water bottle. Um, but first, let me dig myself a hole. There we go. Okay. I will be right back to uh, after I grab some water. Um, uh, make it the sandy manets of man. It's, yes, <laughs> just like real life. The game where you torture villagers to gain infinite resources. Yeah, especially after the one to one point fourteen update, which is also called the village and pillage update. Is it called the pillage update because of the pillagers? I think not. It's probably because of the players pillaging the villages. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um, I will be right back. Uh, it's just going to be a quick break to grab my water bottle, fill it up and stuff. Uh, and then I will be hydrated. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll be right back, folks.
Hello, I'm back. Uh, I don't have my water bottle because I found the water bottle and uh, I forgot to clean it out after going biking with, um, you know, a drink mix in it and uh, it's not so pretty right now. <laughs> so I have a mug that I promise has water in it. It does have water in it, but uh, so I, I will be hydrated with water but I couldn't use yeah ick exactly and the dishwasher has already been run for today so I I'm not going to be starting it right now your cat stole your spot no the betrayal <laughs> how dare <laughs> Cats seem to do that, though. Steal spots. They're very good at it. Update. You stole the cat. <laughs> uh, your cat would never. Fair. <laughs> okay. Let's rest through the night. You see, as he buries yourself, himself under your leg. <laughs> Wrong spot again. Ah. <laughs> I need to make a sign that's like, bed this way. <laughs> I heard a zombie. Don't know where the uh, zombie is. Um, right. I think the thing we need to do now is grow a bunch of wheat because I think buffalo eat wheat and because of that we can use wheat for uh they changed the color of wheat in a later version but we, we can use wheat as a way to, um, like, grow the animals faster. I think it's like you give, you give a piece of wheat and it cuts their growth time by 10% of the remaining time. Yeah. So, you, 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 you 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 and that should hopefully help cut down the remaining time because it's like 20 minutes normally for them to grow up buffalo 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 yes welcome to the english language um let, let's break down that sentence uh it, it's it's like when, once you break it down into what it's actually talking about um, it makes some amount of sense. So, so the sentence contains three distinct meanings of the word buffalo, uh, as an adjectival proper noun to refer to the specific place named Buffalo, the city of Buffalo, New York being the most notable as a verb to Buffalo, meaning in American English to bully, harass, or intimidate or to battle, and as a noun to refer to the animal buffalo, often called bison outside of North America. The plural is also buffalo. Ace Awareness Week? Nice. Say hello to Arrow Ace. We are we are aware of her. <laughs> But yes, Ace Awareness Week is very important. We're all under the Ace Umbrella. I'm not, but uh, very valid for for anybody who self-identifies as Ace or Grace or anything, you know? Son called me to ask if you're aware of yourself. <laughs> Fair, valid. <laughs> Uh, 
Yes, I'm under the nerd umbrella. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll say it that way. <laughs> also, if you look at this, you see how I'm half stepping down even though it looks like a full block? There's some sort of trickery going on with one of the mods that's making it so um, blocks look like other blocks. So like this looks like a full block, but it's actually a stair. And this here looks like a full block, but it's actually a fence gate or, or a fence post. Stuff like that. Someone joked you're now visible. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we're going to put these drums back over here. So I think like they're there and there. Sure. And we'll do that. This is really pretty. I don't like these on the ground. <laughs> so um, because of the different ages, like I'm not technologically advanced enough to know about stairs yet, apparently. Uh, so that one's actually a full block, but this one here's a stair. And, and, uh, these little rock things on the ground here, they all look like rocks, but in a future age, they will turn to look like a little ore deposit and you go and scan them and it shows, oh, there's this resource underneath. And, and so, you know, it's, it's the world changes as you become more aware of things is sort of the concept stairs how do they work exactly a ramp you know one of the simple machines yeah definitely can't understand that not at all um i think we have farmland in one of these chests over here i'd like to plant some more wheat farmland right there one piece of farmland. That's enough for me. Um, you know, maybe I turn these into farmland or these into wheat spots as well. No. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's good to know. So, I can't learn how to make a hoe until the next age. Also, yes, I'm lost again. Um, that's over there. <laughs> I wasn't here when a lot of this was being designed, so I have no idea where stuff's located at. Okay. Let's do this. Um, shark meat. Shark meat, ooh ha ha. Def definitely how that, um, uh, Disney film went, right? Pixar? Pixar film. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, uh, slander by saying it was a Disney film versus a Pixar film. Grow! Grow! <laughs> Here. Excuse me? Yeah, Disney owns Pixar. But there, there, there are some people who get really up in arms about calling, like, a Pixar film a Disney film. And, and yes, there's, like, different creative directions that the different studios take. But, I don't know. The mouse owning it all. Yep. The Empire. Exactly. It's kind of ironic having, um... Disney own, like, Star Wars now. Because, like, oh, <laughs> the Empire now owns the Empire. <laughs> I think we're in a hurry-up-and-wait state. Where we're, we're just needing to wait for... You know, the, 
we need the buffalo to grow up so we can breed them so we can start slaying them he now does most of the big disney releases okay i didn't know that hey okay one of them grew up hey there okay so now i need to get two wheat to breed them um i think if we go in here there should be some bone meal yes okay let's get a bunch of uh wheat and then we can use that wheat to grow stuff uh the grow grow more buffalo I lost my way again, by the way. <laughs> this will work fine. Okay, small quality of life thing that's in modded Minecraft. Being able to right click a full grown crop, crop and have it just like auto replant. So nice. So nice. Why, why is that not in vanilla Minecraft? <laughs> I don't know, it's strange. Throw weed at them. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then one, two. And then y'all. One, two, one, two. Look at this booter. <laughs> game too easy <laughs> you know what are you doing here <laughs> sheep in the wrong pen <laughs> yeah so pigs and cows and bison and then we have chicken and sheep uh and i need to get i should get the totem torches out here Rogue sheep, yeah. <laughs> X is white. I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Maybe I'm just misunderstanding. Um, let's see. I'm wanting to make totemic torches, so I want to get sticks. Probably the best way to get sticks would be I throw these in here. Spider, could you not? Oh, men's experience. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, sticks. Yes, we'll go with that. Um, place that there. Grab stick. Yeah, let's just grab all 16. <clears throat> and then probably don't need these seeds. And we'll grab these totem torches. And then one, two. Uh, let's place dirt down for now. Inventory management always sucks. It's horrendous. <laughs> So one, da, da. Oh, I can just hold down right click. I've been just furiously mashing right click. <laughs> uh, and yeah, experience, I, I don't know why it's white. Sometimes it's a little bit green, but sometimes it's just white. And, and I don't know what causes that. There we go. Uh, so out over this way. It's been the same since there was 1600 blocks in Minecraft and there's so many new blocks, we need more space. Yeah, so 
in vanilla Minecraft, it's a problem. And then modded Minecraft, it's even more of a problem. Uh, <laughs> and like there's systems in place to make it better, but also like this mod pack kind of gates things away. So not perfectly fixed, you know? Um, yeah, let's, let's just do it in the center of each of these pens. So like there. Yeah, modern Minecraft, you get backpacks, but right now I don't have access to backpacks either. Yeah, and then let's do around the edges. So one there, one like here, one here. Yeah. It's mostly the bison that I'm worried about, you know? Because if I if I look for backpack right now. Oh. I have access to a backpack. I should make a backpack. <laughs> uh I I was like, look, there's not a backpack available. I just didn't bother looking. <laughs> uh I don't know how good or how bad this backpack is um but yeah so seven leather and then a primitive chest okay uh do you prefer a one block item or the arpg approach like diablo or resident evil with items taking up different space on their size um i would say it depends upon the game because it is, like, <clears throat> Minecraft isn't a game in which it needs the additional complexity of different items taking up different space. Whereas in, like, Resident Evil, you're trying to balance out, like, oh, like the the semi semi realism of trying to fit something into your backpack right so it, it for that it's a cool mechanic to be like okay yeah this is like this weird curved object that takes up like this amount of space and then you need to fit something in underneath that that's pretty cool for minecraft you're trying to like collect things and then also like build things up in the world and stuff so yeah. Part of the my issue here is that I like I technically should be just like clearing out my inventory because I haven't touched most of the stuff in here. But at the same time, <laughs> uh I don't want to, you know, spend the time doing inventory management. It's definitely a me problem. Okay. Um, this is about to break. It's going to be very loud when it does break. So just fair warning. Okay, one more craft. Um, yeah, so I'm going to place... I'll place another chest here and do that and then let's just throw this here yeah so that 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 and we get some string And here we go. This one's going to be loud. <laughs> oh, I hate that sound. Okay. <laughs> Wish in Path of Exile there would be the same system as in Minecraft with one item needing one space. Yeah. 
I, I don't know Path of Exile, but yeah, I, I could definitely, like, different games, sometimes it's like, oh, I can see why the developer wanted to, like, go this direction, but it would just be really nice to have, like, a different direction. Um, right, so I need to make a crafting stump. A work stump, sorry. Holds full stacks per slot. <gasps> Ooh, I should do that. <laughs> that's uh, okay. We're going to make a work stump mark two because that's really nice <laughs> to just be able to craft multiple things at once. So log and chopping block. Uh, I think we have chopping block over on the other side. Right there. Cool. Nope. Thank you. So we put those two there. We pick this up. Um, any logs? <clears throat> it's like seven anvils made of wood. <laughs> Body armor, for example, needs six item spaces. Gotcha. Um, there's this, um, interesting roguelike game here. I'm going to pull up steam on screen for just a second. Uh, backpack hero. This is a pretty cool game in which, um, uh, that's a developer broadcast. Just want to look at some of the example images. So, like, you progress by, like, you start out with this little 4x4 four four grid, and then you progress by, like, expanding the back backpack outwards, and, like, different items take up different amounts of spaces, and the items interact with each other differently. Um, can I grow this? Not really. Can I copy the page URL, and then go here? Yes. Uh, so this. There we go. That's a bit better on screen. Um, so yeah, different things interact with the different items. So like this bow, it performs based upon having the arrows next to it. And then this makes the damage for these better and stuff like that. Don't put a rock next to an egg. Do you get a rock, like rock different spelling? But yeah, this is a cool game. Um, I'm probably going to make some videos on this at some point. Uh, may maybe I should put this up for a poll on Twitter. But um, uh, should I do Backpack Hero first or should I do Slay the Spire first? I have experience in Slay the Spire. I don't have experience in uh, Backpack Hero. That that's kind of the uh, thing. Um, right. Let's go over this way. Uh, you mean once you put eggs in your pocket IRL, and that was a mistake. They broke when you were feeding horses. Oof. Yeah, it is a cool game. Uh, I haven't played myself. I mostly watched other people play it, and I didn't even see them get super far with it. Uh, I think I need to chop down a new tree. But to do that, I need to clear up inventory space. So uh, let's put away these bones. And then um i don't have a crafting stump so i need to make an axe the the uh flint hatchet so flaked flint here and then ah you can get a full axe by um <clears throat> just fully building out here 
I think the hatchet's fine. So we'll use plant twine. Why would you use leather? Like leather. <laughs> okay, plant twine. You get three of these. Leather, you have to take these and make this. And to get the leather strip, you have to get the leather. And you have to tan, wet the tan hide. And then you do ground resin. And you have salted hide. Why would you use leather? <laughs> This is just like, oh yeah, here's a plant fiber, um, well, okay, there's two plant fiber, there's three plant fiber, woo. Why would you go through the full process of, <laughs> like, yes, it's, it's sort of nice that you have the option, but also, why would you use leather for that? <laughs> sort of like pasta? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Um... Right, and then to get... To get sticks, I need to break leaves. There we go, there's a stick. So one, two, three. Why not? <laughs> it's just a lot of effort for, you know, something you could use the easy stuff for. Wet the dry, dry the wet, wet the dry, dry the wet. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Um, right. So, I need to chop down trees so that I can get some wood so I can make a work stump. That's what I'm working on. So, I had good intentions when I was titling the stream about getting to the millstone, but I forgot about the buffalo teeth. Um... If I had remembered about the buffalo teeth, I probably would have titled the stream something around, like, the buffalo stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, we go here, and we do that, and we do that. And that's work stump. And then work stump, mark two. Um shelf uh how much wood is that that's three and i think there's some wood over here hmm three more wood there One, two, three. And then chopping block is here. So two wood there. And we grab... Rocks? I have rocks in my inventory. And then we grab the crafting rock. Nice. We put that at the top. We grab one, two, three of those. We do one, two. Look at that. We have just the right amount of wood. Twitter is weird. Specifically dark oak. Can't be oak, apparently. It has to be dark oak. Okay. Um. This is eucalyptus here? I think. Um. Yeah, let's chop this down. Yes, eucalyptus wood. This is a big tree, so we gotta do a lot of chopping down. Only just now saw the tweet. Um, yeah, so if you have the algorithmic home version of Twitter, um, that will, like, it'll try and algorithmically tell you when, um, when it thinks that, like, the most 
important time to tell you is which i don't know how they do that and i don't like that like the the timeline version here um yeah okay my my timeline's fine right now so this button here if you're on desktop or similarly on mobile you can choose between home and latest and i highly suggest using the latest view instead of the home view now there's certain like i have secondary accounts that i use the home view for that but that's like for sort of like an art browsing thing um and then i use the latest view for like my content creation account and and personal account however you want to view that twitter account uh the best way to know if i'm live is does this command work on youtube it does not work on youtube let me actually in the description of the video i have a link to my discord server um and and there i have the best way of being able to tell when i'm live i have a bot that i host myself that uh posts when i go live specifically on my twitter looking for the link to my youtube and then you saw it gotcha <laughs> it works out well then uh eucalyptus tree let's go ahead and replant that here and then we'll plant one over here and one there and one there okay what do i offer on discord um we have memes and we uh you know talk about computers nerd stuff and uh you know other things in general i don't know <laughs> it's the best way of knowing when i go live just because like i i trust that system versus like not really trusting how other push notification systems work uh where'd the crafting rock go i put it away that's what happened Hey. Uh work stump mark two. <laughs> it has a little bed. It has a little detail. Look at look at this. Look at this. It has a little, has a little teeny tiny bed there. <laughs> uh, you get to have a nice little bed that the <laughs> the crafty rock sleeps on. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love that. So, one, two. Ah, that's nice. Okay. Yes, the rock has a pillow. Um, string is over in this house. Maybe you join the Discord? If not, that's also perfectly fine. Um, whatever works best for you, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's so much nicer, just being able to craft multiple things in bulk. Mm. Um, I have about 20, like 15 to 20 minutes left for stream today. Um, can call me a nerd directly there. So a big plus, yes. YouTube. Stop hiding the word nerd, <laughs> you know? Um. Like, I need to, like, search up and see, is there an allowed word list? Because, like, there's a blocked word list, but, like, nerd is a perfectly fine word to have, you know? You're off now. Okay, take care, Arrow. Uh, it was great having you around. I appreciate you a ton. 
I hope you have a nice evening. Take care, friend. <laughs> and don't crash Minecraft. I won't crash Minecraft. Minecraft might crash on me, but I won't crash Minecraft. <laughs> uh, right. So, um, we should sleep. We should check on the buffalo. Uh, and then we should, uh, work on the backpack, I think. I think it's over here. Remember that thing that I said about needing, like, a neon sign in the sky to, uh, run remind myself where different things are located? It's as true as ever. Typically, I, I like refer to a mini map, but I don't have a mini map available to me. You and you. And then one, two, three, four, five is what we'll do there. I need landmarks, exactly. But the thing is, I don't really have landmarks right now. There's this tree over here. That could maybe be a landmark. Um, there are signs in this chest, this chest. And we'll do two, actually even better. Uh, is this across a chunk boundary? No, it's perfectly in a chunk boundary. Okay. Come on. Why is it like double clicking sometimes? <laughs> I don't know what's with that. Uh, and I think I'm just going to break this up and put uh, normal dirt. Hmm. Let's drop the string there. We'll toss the mud clumps over, have the dirt. There we go. Yes, particularly stubborn grass. It's uh, just the hitbox is kind of rough. Okay. And now we will place the sign here. Hang. Okay. The new hanging signs would be perfect here. Just like having one off the side. Um, but yeah, we'll do... Uh... Two animal pen. We'll put pen on this line. Two animal pen. Yes. They are more expensive, yeah. They look nice. <laughs> the little the little feet. <laughs> Little baby buffalo. <laughs> Don't know what steps are, but you can read. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and in fact, I know how to make a sign. Look at that. <laughs> I have to unga bunga a rock onto a crafting table in order to craft something, but don't know what steps are. Or maybe that's equivalent? I don't know. <laughs> yes, thank you. Good, good, good point. Good point. Um, I think 
Uh, I should also put... Um... So this one, I have a bit of a landmark. It's next to this uh, black and white wood building. Um, have some wheat there. Nope, can't just climb there. Okay. Um, Z fighting. Where is that wheat farm? <laughs> this is a perfect reason why I need this sign. It's over here. Okay. Literacy came way later than stairs. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Is this a stair? No. So that's a full block. Um. I'm going to do two farms. Two farm. Yeah. That's six there. Did I do the same here? No, that's seven. Yes. I like this mod that makes it so you can go in and just like click and like set it. And then you can also do shift and then there's like some sort of fancy thing with being able to like set the color and like you can do like rainbow text and stuff like that yeah <laughs> one of the mods allows for that i don't know which mod um i you know since this is a mod pack i should probably link in the description the mod pack um for now, uh, I'll just show, hey, this is the Sebtech mod pack. Um, if you go and use the CurseForge launcher or you use, uh, just search for CurseForge and search for Sebtech Ages, uh, this is the mod pack that we're using. So yeah. Beats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need that cow to grow up. Your computer can barely handle vanilla. Fair, yeah. Um, there's some mods that add like additional performance. And um, there's also one way that you can do... One way that you can get additional performance is uh, when you're playing single player, the way that Minecraft works is that it hosts a local server and then the client connects to that local server. So you can decouple the local server onto like a remote server and then that server can run like all the world code and then your game can basically handle like the rendering stuff and that can help lighten up the, um, uh, the, the performance on your local machine. Yes, you need to have two computers for that, but uh, it, it can help boost performance significantly on, like, your main system. Even if you have, like, a lower-end system, um, uh, that like, something I typically do is I downcycle my computers. I take my current computer and step it down to, like, the next system. So, like, my, my gaming system becomes my streaming system, and then the streaming system will become... Um, I don't know, some sort of server machine or uh, put it into one of my current servers, stuff like that. Like I, even after I'm done with a computer, I use it for another project and that extends like the lifetime of that computer uh, and, and makes it more useful. Uh, I'm not just like immediately throwing it away, you know? Like I still get to experience newer stuff, but it makes it so that I'm, I'm not just immediately throwing it away. 
You're on a laptop. Gotcha. And it's totally like not not everybody needs to know computer stuff, you know. Uh, if if, if computer stuff is something that you're interested in, then yeah, definitely knowing computer stuff is a good thing to do. But it's not necessary to to know computer stuff. I'm very into computer stuff, but that's also like. I was interested in computer stuff in like high school and then I, like now I'm a computer scientist and I work for one of the big retail groups for doing programming stuff. So like I should probably know computer stuff, <laughs> but not not everybody needs to know computer stuff. Um, I'm just going to toss these. Actually, I have a trash can. I'm going to delete them. This song is such a bop. Yes. <laughs> yep, Minecraft bop. Like, as you're typing it out, <laughs> I was saying the same. Ugh. Okay. Um... I need to check on the grindstone over here. For a little bit more bone meal. Reminds you of other side. Oh, other side sounds familiar. This is... Um... This is other side. Right? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes, this is other side. What? It grew up inside of a wall. And so it died. Ridiculous. Yes, other side is a disc. Um, I'm I'm playing the music via Spotify. Um, so I, I I do like how Minecraft has the um. Uh, my, Minecraft has like the intermittent music. I like that. Uh, but you're just left a lot of the time with like absolutely no music playing, and I don't like that for content creation uh, i think for normal gameplay like just kind of playing by yourself i think that's perfectly fine but for me like you know I, I i like having music playing the entire time while i'm playing minecraft uh for streaming so i i i have a playlist of um uh minecraft music here i could even share it and like it's just my favorites of minecraft music and and here's pig step so <laughs> Yeah, so here's my Minecraft playlist. <laughs> Two bops in a row. <laughs> okay. So that's two of the four buffalo teeth that we need. Buffalo pelts. Can we use these for... Nope. Just get a lot of rawhide. Okay. <clears throat> uh, here. Let's do this. I... I should make the wheel so that I can have some amount of progression and then maybe if we kill one more buffalo we might get enough for uh that wooden gear and if we do 
then that means that we fulfilled what we said that the stream title was going to be about. Right? And if so, that doesn't make me a liar clickbaiter, you know? <laughs> I, I really did have good intentions, you know? Wheels on the bus. There we go. There's the wheel. <laughs> and then... Use your knowledge of the wheel to make a gear. And so for that... We have buffalo tooth. So one, two. And then... I need to grab four from here. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, spin. Big spin. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. We have three. Oh, we only got one tooth. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to slay another just in case that one dies. I was hoping to get two teeth from that. Okay. And if we look at this, the millstone... Oh, this is... You need it for the crank. That's right. Okay. So let's get this crafted together. Because we might as well. Um, Cobble. Growing up in the walls is a hard life. <laughs> true, 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 true. Okay, so we have two there. Um, let's just take one of these and we'll go ahead and put one here. No, we need to first, um, I think we need to do a slab first. I'm not positive on this, but I think we need to do a slab first. Okay, so we grab this, we grind it down in here. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. I think it's like 20 seconds. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's get this next batch going and then I'll work on this craft. Where did that experience come from? Being needy and wants fudge? <laughs> wants your fudge. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that's like, um, like a fudge dessert or something like that. Uh, so put that there. We grab this. Crafting rock. And then we're going to put one at the top. Putting that in the middle. And then seven in total. Pumpkin pie fudge. Ooh, that sounds really good. Really, really, really good. Pumpkin pie is really good. Why do we only get it like one, like once or twice a year? It's, it's probably because it's a fall crop, but <laughs> it'd be nice to have it more often. It's amazing in your categories. Totally fair. Uh, let's see. One more batch. Oh, 
What's your favorite SN Reloaded video? It's the one where she plays Minesweeper for about half an hour. <laughs> it was maybe like 20 minutes or something. I don't know. Okay. So there's that. So A, there's one of the things from the thumbnail. I did the thing. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to move this one to the left. So that goes there. That goes there. Has too many solid blocks around it. Of course it does. Okay, and then hand crank is two cobblestone, so one and two, and then sticks, one and hi. I didn't realize Cammy was on. <laughs> I was, I was just suddenly like, who? Hello? <laughs> yeah, so Cammy's also on uh, the LGBT cafe with me. Yeah. Okay. Grow up. Grow up. But not right now. Don't don't grow up right now. Why, why is the adult smushing them into the wall? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Why is the why was the adult pushing it into the wall? <laughs> Go to sleep forever. Once we have access to glass, probably, or, or, you know, fences, we'd probably want to put, um, fences up and they wouldn't suffocate inside of the fences then. Aggressive mama. True, 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 true. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. There's certain parts about the pack that I don't love with, like, oh, hey, it grew up. Um, okay. Uh, you are at the lowest health. And there we go. Last time we played, didn't even remember having to do that. Uh, hey there, zombie. Okay. Off stream, I'll work on breeding them up. But there is the tooth. Um, I have the crafting rock in my inventory. Um,. It needs to be the red cedar specifically. Right. I could have been working on that.
Okay. Um. Yeah. Bit annoying. Okay. So, let's look at Totemic. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Um. Right of Spring. Any nearby saplings will transform into cedar saplings. Okay. So. Uh, I need to grab a couple of other things. <clears throat> this. Uh, let's put shark teeth away there. That. I'll put sticks over here. I'll grab this. And then... Flute drum. Okay. Let's do like one, two, three, and we will do ah, shit. Easy. Red cedar sapling. Okay, so we have three of these now. Okay, so we have ten red cedar saplings. Um, let's bring this over... ...somewhere. Let's get a little bit more ground up here. Farm? Maybe we could do over by the farm. This is decently open, though. That's a pit. I uh, definitely didn't mean to do that. But here, look at this. This is pretty open. Okay. Let's see how big this gets again. Uh, I feel like this is a small one. <laughs> I'm gonna lose them. Probably true. But also, I, like, my thought process of this here is, oh, that's over there. Right? Uh, the, the buffalo are there, so this is along that path. Ah, it's broken. Heck. Uh, I have another flint hatchet in my inventory, apparently. I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and do... Like, one... Two... Three... Four, five, six of them? Like six out of the twelve? And then, where's the wood? Over here? Oh, I should probably turn that off. <laughs> I'm so used to having that overlay on that, like, it doesn't even register. But it's like, oh yeah, the, um, I have the light overlay on. Here's a bunch of ugly yellow triangles. Not triangles. X's everywhere. Um, 
Let's go ahead and get a little bit more wheat. Why? Why, why, why is that broken? Um, okay, limestone we're gonna put there. We're gonna switch to that. That's fine, here. Do that. Cow? Cow? There we go. Um, if you look at the, uh, recipe for the flame grilled whopper, we need coal dust. Charcoal dust. Charcoal dust, which needs to be ground up in a millstone, which needs the buffalo teeth. Okay, so there's that. So there's that, and we'll put this here. Uh, what, what are you doing there, friend? <laughs> start going one way and then start going backwards. Okay. And there's the four red cedar plank. Ba -ba -ba -bam. <laughs> Musical wheat. <laughs> Last crop standing. Excellent. <laughs> Gear! We did the gear! Oh. We did it. <laughs> so there's the mill, and there's the wooden gear. We did the, the stream title, and the, and the stream things, you know? <laughs> there's that. Oh. So this uses hunger. And then we take charcoal from over here. Just two. I'm going to go ahead and get the frame flame grilled whopper. Yes. <laughs> There's one charcoal dust. This crank. Like, why can't I spam it back and forth? <laughs> uh, what did I do? It's there. Okay. Uh, flame grilled whopper takes two charcoal dust. It takes... Is it in my inventory? It is in my inventory. Takes that, takes shark tooth, um, red cedar plank, so it's good that we have that. You look at the red cedar plank, it's like, oh yeah, it just needs some planks. No, no, it needs red cedar plank, specifically. Specifically. <laughs> Uh, and we grab this shadow gem, and we put that there, and then... Ah! Uh... Nice. Hmm. 
gives that extra flavor. Exactly. Want to hold the Whopper? <laughs> Okay, and that leads into the Melter base. We're not going to do the Melter base today. That'd be like a next week stream thing. Yep, and that uses the Frame Grilled Whopper. Porcelain Bricks. Yeah. Doesn't look like a burger. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is the... So a Whopper is a wooden hopper. And this one is a flame grilled Whopper in that it can uh, be a heat source for like the cooking area over here. So under here, we have to have fires underneath, but you can also use a flame grilled Whopper instead. And so like this here is a Whopper and that's a Whopper. This is a flame grilled Whopper. I thought we were making a burger. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the, the thumbnail from last week, I did put a Whopper into the... Uh, I did go and put it into the wooden hopper from last week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set that there. Uh, and I think that this is a pretty good place to wrap up for this week. Uh, so you need the fr flame grilled Whopper to make burgers. Yes, exactly. You got it right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun this week um, with Minecraft here. Uh, so I'm uh, in case you didn't, I didn't say it before. I am a variety streamer, so I only play modded Minecraft about once a week. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. I had a great time here today. Um, I, Mondays, typically I play with some other people, but I, we haven't talked about if we're streaming yet. So, uh, either I'll be doing something with other people or I'll be doing some sort of single player gameplay. Um, uh, Thursday, I will be doing some single player, uh, played up, uh, really looking forward to trying to do like full automation there with single player. Uh, and then we'll be back next week, Saturday with, um, not Saturday, Sunday with some more modded Minecraft. So yeah. Hey, thank you. That, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, what does my shirt? <laughs> um, I, I got the shirt during pride month. Uh, it says pride month and then, um, the, the words fusing together and then it says demon at the bottom. <laughs> um, it mostly because there's like. Uh, you know, there's those hate groups that try and be like, oh, Pride Month, like the middle of the word is demon. And so just kind of wearing it as like a subversion of that expectation. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's like, I thought it was a funny shirt. And, and so I, I have it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, if you want to see more content uh, until the next stream, uh, I... I have some videos from uh, that I posted on Friday that I'm pretty happy with the editing for. So yeah, embrace the evil if it means being yourself. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you all so much. I hope you have a nice uh, day, have a nice evening, and uh, I will see you all next time. Bye bye.